At the heart of Rocky Mountain's adventurous range of e-mountain bikes is the power play system. It's the core of this bike, the drive unit, which Rocky Mountain were adamant that they had to build in order for them to make bikes uncompromised in geometry. So we are gonna go on a geographical and geometric journey from Monaco to the snowy peaks of the Alp Maritime and back to here, the hills and valleys of Wales. Different terrain with contrasting mountain bike needs. Which is why then that Rocky Mountain have sent us not just one bike, but two, driven by that same beating heart, which is the power play system. The 160 mil altitude and this, the 140 mil instinct. Agro trail or trail, 27.5 wheels or 29, or maybe a mixture of both. Lightweight, fully integrated and super fast charging. Hey, look at this. Actually, look at this. Look at the views and look at this bike, but do you know what? It's nice to be back from the hot couture of Monaco, but still, we're talking high-end stuff here. You can be pretty flush to own one of these power plays. Back in the UK, they start at 4,800 pounds, but come on, visually. Brandon, please, can you just give us like 10 seconds of silence to look at this? Look, some of you might disagree with my sentiment that looks are of massive importance, but I can actually match that with some performance matters of fact a little bit later on, which might well have you dig in a little bit deeper into your pocket. The integration and design here is very impressive. It's actually quite difficult to pick it out as a pedal assist bike. The key parts that enable this are the drive unit housed super neatly around the bottom bracket, the battery which has been slipped into the down tube and that iWatch control on the handlebar. It's display free with a low profile remote for a pure ride experience rather than one which is dictated by constant monitoring of displays. Now Rocky Mountain were adamant that they had their own drive system for this bike and that is so they could maintain the geometry, handling and ride characteristics that these bikes are known for. See, there's simply no compromise with the instinct and the altitude. They're bikes to ride, they're not simply mountain bikes with motors added on. Right, the numbers then, let's get the charts out to have a look at the angles on these bikes, which give them different temperaments whilst out on the trail. Now, first of all, I wanna point out that these bikes have got different amounts of travel. First up is the Instinct. Now that has 140 rear, 140 front, whereas the Altitude is 150 rear, and 160 front. In terms of the general angles on these bikes, they're very, very up to date and very much performance mountain bikes. The chainstay on the 150, 160 altitude is actually one of the shortest on the market. And when you pair that up with a low bottom bracket height, it'll certainly put a smile on most people's faces. And the reason for that, it's a bike that really snaps into those arcing corners. It's got an all action downhill cornering style to it and really does bark when you're descending to that rock and that roof. Over here, the 140 mm Instinct, a much different beast, both in travel and in nature. Yes, it too can sparkle in those tangled root sections, but on climbs, there's a different weight placement on this bike due to the much longer chainstays, almost 20 millimeters more than on the altitude. And that's gonna give a more forward weight bias, which means it'll probably be a stronger climber. 
Having said that, they are quite close. However, what do the numbers allow? How do they ride? Well, the componentry will dictate matters to a degree. The bigger hitting fork, the grippier, tougher tyres on the altitude. So parts are important, but remember you can alter the geometry on this bike and as a result, the suspension rate by way of the Ride 9 system, which is a chip located on the suspension linkage. So you can fine tune the suspension on this bike very easily just with a pair of Allen keys. At 770 watts maximum and 108 newton meters of torque, this bike has some muscle. Enough muscle to tackle some pretty crazy climbs. And the source of this bank busting power is located just down here, neatly and discreetly above the bottom bracket. So what about it? Well, it's designed in Canada in collaboration with Propulsion Power Cycle. Now the Dynam 3.0 drive unit is sleek, lightweight, and it's a powerful electric assist system. There's some really neat touches here. To prevent creaking and wear, pedaling forces are isolated from the drive system via a bottom bracket shell that is integral to the frame itself. An integrated motor bash guard, which works with a standard race face bottom bracket, and a crank set, which is shop serviceable and easily replaceable. Ha, let's not forget here the power assist modes. We're looking at 40, 60, and 100% power assist. Eco, trail, or ludicrous. Wow. Let's actually go and have a look on the trail, how this pans out in reality. Is it really ludicrous? I've ridden up this bank in trail mode. It's quite a struggle, but at least it allows me to maintain my flow and not dismount. However, ahead of me is something out of bounds not just for mountain bikes, but for e-bikes too. I've clicked into ludicrous mode. Oh my God! Oh, yeah! Insane, absolutely insane. So yes, ludicrous mode. If you have the technical skills, it allows you to go up places you've never been before. The drive system on this bike provides a very natural and instant power response. It makes for a very intuitive ride thanks to an inline torque sensor. With the sensor, the power rolls in and it rolls off really smoothly, resulting in greater bike control for the rider. And it also gives you a much greater level of confidence as you exit or enter corners. So the power play then, the drive unit really does deliver power naturally when you need it. And the more you stomp on the pedals, the more it gives you back. It really is quite amazing. And Rocky Mountain, well, they claim it to have class leading torque. Having ridden both these bikes at length, there's so many things to bear in mind. I mean, there's 140 versus the 150, 160 on the altitude. And the fact that the altitude's got bigger hitting components, bigger forks, grippier tires, the 140 millimeter instinct. It's more of an adventure bike, whereas the altitude's more of a bike park enduro bike. Maybe it's just about the battery. Damn, I haven't talked about the battery yet. Available with a massive 632 watt hour lithium ion battery on the 70 level bike or a 500 watt hour battery on the 50 level bike, these bikes charge fast, allowing you to get out and then charge even harder. And ultra fast charge times too of 1 hour 40 minutes, that's up to 80% with the 500 watt hour battery, or 2 hours up to 80% with the 632 watt hour battery. And the batteries, well, they weigh in at just 2.6 kilograms. But for me, I think the overriding feeling I get when I'm riding these two bikes is the fact that Rocky Mountain have gone their own way, made their own motor, which has enabled them to maintain their geometry philosophy. The horizons of those iconic Canadian mountains, in fact, any mountains are now within reach rather than a stretch too far like they've been in the past. And in the instinct and the altitude, you've got two hugely capable mountain bikes, aggressive trail, or trail, choose your weapon. 
And the bottom line, well, it is one attractive piece of all mountain action just waiting to happen. I think Rocky Mountain have been very bold by choosing their own motor and battery on this bike. I think it really has paid off. Yes, you've got to be pretty flush to own one, but I think anybody can appreciate the exceptional qualities of one very fine e-mountain bike. So, like, hope you like this video. Uh, let us know your comments on the Rocky Mountain Powerplay, both the instinct and the altitude. Uh, if you want to know more about where you can take these kind of bikes, why not check out the video I did with Hannah Barnes on Into the Wild in the Noida Peninsula just down here. Uh, don't forget you can like, share and subscribe to EMBN.